Now, the Law Commission has recommended uh, that criminal defamation should be retained within the scheme of criminal laws in the country. In its report on the law on criminal defamation submitted to the government, the panel asserted that it is important to keep in mind that the right to reputation flows from Article 21 of the Constitution and being a facet of right to life and personal liberty, it needs to be adequately protected against defamatory speech and imputations. Uh, to get more on this, uh, well, we have our guests uh, joining us. We have Vineet uh, Dhanda. Uh, advocate of the Supreme Court and the former Assistant Solicitor General of India. Uh, well, uh, we also have with us Ashto Srivastava, advocate of uh, the Supreme Court. Uh, let's uh, like uh, get. Uh Ashutosh, in first, the 22nd the Law Commission has recommended that criminal defamation should be retained within the scheme of criminal laws in India. The right to reputation is guaranteed and needs to be adequately protected against defamatory speech. Is, uh, uh, you know, what the Law Commission has gone on to say. So, when we talk about it, what is really highlighted here is that the, reputation, the right to reputation is a facet of the yes. right to life and personal liberty. How significant yes. is this, Ashutosh? No, it, it's very much significant, obviously, because, uh, you know, Article 21 of the Constitution uh, provides right to liberty and, uh, you know, uh, to the people of this country who have the right to have the, uh, you know, the dignity and respect in the society while living. So, uh, and the reputation is something which is not built in a day. It takes years and years for a person to make a reputation for himself. And if somebody does anything to spoil or harm the reputation by lowering the image of that person in the eyes of common people, it amounts to defamation. And in our, uh, you know, the previous that uh, Indian Penal Court uh, under Section 500, it was already a punishable offence, uh, and the punishment was for two years or with fine or with both. So this uh, provision was already there, and uh, the Law Commission has further stated that it should continue in the new laws as well. So uh, that's a, a great move and that should continue. And obviously there were certain, uh, uh, you know, exemptions also, like if there is any court's order, uh, you know, or, or if it is anything is said in the interest of the people at large, it, it will not amount to defamation. So obviously the right uh, to have freedom of speech and expression was also preserved in the law. So it was actually a balance of both. So at the same time, people should not be curtailed for their freedom of speech and expression. And on the other hand, a reputation of a person should not be spoiled intentionally by uh, any individual by making such imputation which can harm the reputation or lower the image of that person in the eyes of people right. at large. Let me so, get Vineet uh, Dhanda in here. Reputation is something which takes a lifetime to build and can be destroyed in seconds. Uh, you know, uh, uh, but isn't this uh, being a case of the right to freedom of speech versus the right to reputation? As it can be argued that criminal prosecution for defamatory statements is opposed to the right of freedom of speech. See, freedom of speech is one part and freedom uh, right to reputation is one part. But it had been kept uh, in a balanced way by Honorable Supreme Court of India in 2016. There was Subramaniam Swami's case is there. It's a, a classic case where Mr. Swami said that the uh, right to speech, freedom of speech, is his fundamental right and it should be kept in balance and people should be allowed to speak as per their right. But, as, you, as my brother said and you rightly said, that uh, the reputation is not made in, a, made in a day. It takes years to build up. And with somebody's reckless statement, uh, the whole reputation can go down. And uh, there are classic cases of Mr. Rahul Gandhi and Mr. Gogoi who have been punished by the Honorable Courts for their uh, reckless speeches and by which they tried to misguide uh, the, the public at large and create a, a scenario which was not there against the government or the, the Honorable Prime Minister of India. So right to speech is uh, recognized right in the uh, eyes of law, but that uh, right to speech should not be used in a reckless manner. And which has been, uh, we have seen in the past and with the advent and our uh, social media is in so fire. So we have to balance it and proper checks and balances have to be there to prevent the misuse of right to uh, freedom of speech and expression. Right, uh, Ashutosh, the report says any form of speech should not be illegal in general unless they are very specific and unusual circumstances. Take us through those exceptions to the rule. Yes, that's true. Uh, as I already said that there are exceptions uh, in, in the uh, definition of defamation presently also under uh, Section 499 IPC it is defined 
uh, presently, which says that there are 10 exceptions to defamation. And if it is said in such a way where a court order is, uh, uh, you know, uh, is described by any person uh, in public or if it is in the interest of the public at large or where, you know, the interest of people are to be uh, safeguarded by making certain statements, then it may fall under exceptions. But if somebody is making a, a statement against someone just to lower the image of that person in the eyes of people, then it will amount to defamation. And it has got two aspects. One is the criminal uh, offense, which is punishable as, as now also. Uh, and uh, second one is the uh, damages. So one can claim the damages also considering the reputation of that particular person. So it could be any amount which can be claimed through the courts. So the right, additional punishment see. also involves uh, community service, something uh, that is being introduced. Uh, is that a substitute uh, to, uh, you know, the kind of punishment that would be involved in such an offence? Uh, we need, in a broader spectrum, the panel says harm to a, a reputation is not only an attack to an individual but to the society as at large. Other motiv motivating factors include avoiding public disturbances. When someone says, I'll sue you for defamation, we know how effective it is in some other countries. But will this hold a strong ground when it comes to India? See, as far as in our country is concerned, the law needs to be strengthened more. Because uh, the political scenario uh, is very uh, different in our country. And the laws which are there, only two years imprisonment is there, which can be challenged further through appeals and stay is granted and su suspension of sentence takes place. So the laws need to be made very stricter in our country also. So keeping this for two years, uh, two years imprisonment and uh, retaining section 499 and 500 is really important because the defamation is not taking place at the, the uh, political level. Even the students, even the uh, reputed businessmen are being dragged, like we saw uh, the incident of a uh, TMC leader who had been leaking the, the passwords. And the uh, defamatory questions were uh, uh, posed in the parliament to the government of India uh, with a motivated factor to defame a particular uh, business house. So right. balance is there. But more stricter balance is required, for, for, rather further more punishment is required, more than right. two years it should be there. Right. Because right. it leads to not only loss of reputation, the lo loss of reputation is there, uh, due to that loss of business also happens. Crores and uh, billions of rupees are lost in just because of reckless statement of a person. Right, uh, Vineet uh, Dhanda as well as uh, Ashutosh uh, joining us on the broadcast. Thank you so much. We will keep having this discussion.